Hi, how you doing? I'm John Paul with Critical Paintball, and today we're going to show you how to rebuild the Crossfire Regulator. If, uh, if you've got your burst distance below, your 1800 PSI, or you've got a leak through the hole here, um, you're probably going to need to rebuild it. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, I've already loosened this one up for the video. This is a .05 Allen key. Remove uh, or we'll loosen up the, the uh, safety set screws, and then use a 7 uh, 8 inch wrench to uh, unscrew the bonnet. So we'll get that off here. Now we've got the uh, put the spring aside, pull the piston out, and uh, got your pin valve there. Um, make sure you get your, both your O-rings. Sometimes they'll be inside the top of the bonnet, either down inside here in the body or on the piston. So we'll pull those off. Uh, you would be replacing those O-rings if if you get a leak through the little hole right above the, uh, uh, the fill nipple, then that's going to be one of those O-rings. Um, if you're actually blowing your 1800 burst disc, then it's going to be the ball, um, the seat right here at the bottom of your piston. The rebuild kit comes with an 1800 PSI burst disc and both of the O-rings and a ball seat, you see here. So we're going to show you how to go ahead and redo all of this. One way, if, if you are blowing an 1800 burst disc and you don't have a, a rebuild kit, one way to kind of get you out of trouble is uh, pull the piston out, take a sharpie, mark the side that was that you can see, and then what you'll do is take an Allen key, pop the pop the ball out. So now the side that you've got the, the sharpie mark on is the, the bad side. Maybe it has a nick in it, some dirt debris got in there and scored it. So you just pop it out, stick it back in with the, the side that you sharpied down. So now you have a new fresh face that's going to actually uh, seat down here at the bottom. So that, that's one way you can use that ball twice. So we'll go ahead and we're just going to replace it for this. So I just wanted to show you that as a way to kind of get yourself out of a jam. So we'll put that, that aside, put these O-rings aside. So now we have a fresh piston, and let's assume that this uh, 1800 burst disc blew. So go ahead and take that off using our uh, 3 8 inch wrench. So we're completely rebuilding this here. So we'd go ahead and put a new 1800 burst disc on there and then tighten it on. And then we're going to go ahead and replace the, uh, the ball. And that just gets pushed down in there. It's a pressure fit. It's not, I mean, it doesn't come out. <laughs> go ahead and put the small o-ring down here on the bottom of the piston. And the other ring here on top. And then what we have here is we have this lube available. This is the actual lube that uh, Crossfire uses to lube up the regs. Uh, it's designed for uh, for valves. It's it's made by Dow. So it's actually it's a Dow 111. Um, but instead of having to buy large quantities, we have that in a smaller quantity for an affordable price on the website. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll lube this up. a little on here and uh, put it down here in the body and then here you have um, let me go ahead and just show you this here this is the um, actual pin valve another thing you may have is you could get some uh, some leak some air leaking out the tip here um, that's actually going to be the seat one thing you could do is actually flip this over and then you can probably reuse that once um, if not we have uh, additional ones available um, they're they're not very expensive. But we'll have those on the website too. So if uh, you're leaking out the tip there, just go ahead and flip it over. If not, you can get a replacement piece. So I'm gonna drop that down in there. Screw that on. I would actually tighten it up here with the, the actual wrench here, but. 
um, you get the gist. Start with a little bit of air in there. Make sure you don't have any leaks or anything, and uh, you're good to go. You just rebuilt your regulator. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please email us at sales at Critical Paintball. Thanks and have a good day.